Pen Pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, the Vice team loses one of their own in the episode Gum for the Count Part 1. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from December 15th, 1986 to January 11th, 1987, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on December 31st, three employees set fire to the DuPont Plaza Hotel in San Juan, Puerto Rico, after a labor dispute with the owners. The fire quickly spread throughout the hotel and will leave over 90 people dead and 140 injured. The tragedy would help lead to the Hotel and Motel Fire Safety Act of 1990, increasing safety including smoke detectors in all rooms and working sprinkler systems. The three arsonists would be sentenced to life in prison. The hotel would reopen in 1994 after significant work. In sports, on January 11th, the Denver Broncos were trailing the Cleveland Browns by 7 points with 5 minutes 32 seconds left in the AFC Championship game. Broncos quarterback John Elway would lead his team 98 yards downfield to score the tying touchdown, and the Broncos would win the game in overtime, sending the Broncos to the Super Bowl. Affectionately called the drive, it was cement Elway's legacy as one of pro football's most successful clutch performers. Ironically, most people leave out what happened to the Broncos in Super Bowl 21 when talking about the drive. In music, there's a lot of music to talk about in this time period. First, one song I didn't cover last week while I was too busy gushing over Bon Jovi. Next Time I Fall by Peter Cetera and Amy Grant would hold the top spot for one week, taking it away from Bon Jovi. Next is The Way It Is by Bruce Hornsby and The Range, which would be replaced by the pop sensation Walk Like an Egyptian from The Bangles. The Bangles would hold the Hot 100 for four weeks. I know I've bashed pop songs like this from the 80s before, and this song is just silly. Come on, 1987. I expect better. Of you. In movies, during this entire stretch, The Golden Child will hold the box office, proving just how much people love Eddie Murphy. But there were some other great movies released in this time period. First, how about a martial arts sequel in American Ninja 2? Or maybe a kid's film in The Care Bears Adventure in Wonderland? Perhaps the mystery film The Morning After, starring Jane Fonda and Jeff Bridges, and directed by the great Sidney LeMay. But in reality, all I really want to talk about is The Great Little Shop of Horrors, directed by Frank Oz. You know, the puppeteer of Miss Piggy, Fozzie Bear, Cookie monster grover and yoda the film had a huge all-star cast including rick moranis ellen green steve martin james belushi john candy bill murray and more the rock horror film is an instant classic and has gained a huge cult following and that's everything you need to know that was happening when miami vice was king be sure to join us on go with the heat at go with the i'd love to hear from you email the show go with the heat at gmail.com or follow me on twitter at dom corvo that's all for this week bye pals 